Good afternoon, I'm on my way. I can't even speak. And then I'm talking like a freaking, uh, look, I, like I went to public school and took Ebonics or whatever the hell they call it. Welcome to the Overtaxed Taxpayer Channel. My name is Overtaxed. Today, I'm on my way home from the gym. I think you got the point. And there's a couple of uh, things I want to talk about. First, silver yesterday. By the way, it, it is, um, what time is it? It's almost six o'clock Arizona time. However, yesterday, about the same time, silver was $21 and like 40 cents, give or take, give or take. And it, today it was, it went up to, uh, right now it's $21 and 70 cents. And a lot of people are emailing me and messaging me, Hey, it's going back up. And while I would like to keep your optimism, I'm a realist. I don't believe that's the end or this is the end of the dip. I believe, and I could be wrong. I'm humble enough to know I am not a prophet. I do believe silver is going to fall into the teens, whether that be 19. I don't know. I'm thinking we're going to see a minimum of $19 silver. Um, but I could be wrong. And the spike in price today that we had could be proving me irrelevant in this subject matter right now. However, time will tell the truth. For example, tomorrow, if it's above $21.70 and it continues to rise for the next two or three days, then definitely I was wrong. But, you know, roller coasters, they happen on the dips as well. They'll fall, come up a little bit, maybe a little bit more, and then continue to fall again. So just be, just be aware. Um, so on the news this morning as I was getting ready for work, they had the UFO uh, deposition, release, whatever you want to call the shit show. And uh, Adam Schiff was running it, you know, with his Mona Lisa grin, that shit-eating grin that he think, you know, that, that grin where he thinks everybody, you can read that grin. It, it's like everybody's a piece of shit but him. That kind of grin, you know. So... I got to thinking, and, and the UFO subject matter is near and dear to me because, as a lot of you know, I saw one back in 1986. And to confirm what I saw, somebody else was with me, girlfriend. We were driving back, and I'm not going to go into it details, but I want to talk about the shit show that's occurring on television. And why? Why is it occurring now? Why are they releasing? Newly unclassified UFO, UFO documentation now. Why? Back in 1986, summertime, I'm heading from Daytona Beach. That would be the uh, that be the east coast of Florida. I'm heading back. It was about two two thirty in the morning. The freeway, much like it is here, was empty was pretty much the only one on the road. I'm heading west towards Tampa Bay, going home. I'm on Interstate 4, and uh, something, we saw it from a distance, pulled over to the shoulder. By the time we pulled over to the shoulder, it slowly went above us and continued to go. Very slowly, never stopped or anything and continued to go. And we could tell it was huge because just like here, where you see trees and whatnot, there was pine trees out there and the pine trees had to be 50, 60 feet, I'm trying to estimate. So we can see the space between what we saw and the tops of those trees and it was significant. So we can determine that it was high up, therefore, what we saw was huge because what we saw went from like one hand to the other, like a foot and a half. It was as huge as a football field. That's why it's near and dear to me. I'm not going into details. I made a video about it. You just have to check it out. The bottom line is it got, it got my attention. But why? Why all of a sudden? Why in the morning? Bright and early. Almost like a Senate hearing. That's what it was. It was a forum of... Uh, 
senators and whoever else, uh, Air Force and military uh, importance sitting up there uh, questioning the uh, the investigators and the uh, and God knows what it was. It was a shit show. And I was getting ready for work, so I couldn't really sit down. But they kept showing the old blurry videos, videos that were available for you, to you and I on the internet for 10, 15 years. Nothing released, but they were claiming it's newly released documentation. And every question that was asked of them, we are not aware. So to me, it was just something to grab your attention because they weren't really releasing anything, just talking about stuff we already knew. And every time a Republican asked one of these military malfeasance, they always came back. They didn't say that's not accurate. They didn't say it doesn't exist. We are unaware of its existence. Unaware. Everything. Every question was unaware. Very much like every other freaking hearing where only in those they claim the fifth. Oh, we claim the fifth. We claim the fifth. We claim the fifth. So, but why? <coughs> well, they're voting today in, what, five states? Pennsylvania is one of them. Why not do that on another day? They want your attentions off politics. They want your attention off of this failing presidency. They're using everything in their pockets to, 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 to distract you, to take your mind off of what is important. Now, yeah, from a, from a curiosity perspective, UFOs is, is important to me from a curiosity perspective, but it ain't important in the grand scheme of things. Don't get me wrong. And just because I saw one, I'm no fool. I know what's important in this world. So that's what's going on. And be prepared for other shows to take your mind, your, your eyes off of this hand while they're showing you this hand. I want to talk about this free speech. Uh, they they want to create a, an office, and if my vernacular isn't accurate, maybe it's not a, called an office, but it's an office to to uh, to monitor. Um, did I say free speech? Fake fake news. I'm sorry. Fake information. Fake news. They they want to create something to protect you. They want to protect you from fake news. So they're gonna use your tax dollars. They always use your money to dig your grave. Remember I said that, regardless of what it is that they're trying to do for you or against you, rest assured your money is digging your grave. They want to create a, a department to monitor and um, to rid of fake news. Now, why is this bad? First of all, freedom of speech is not there. And I'm saying it as loud as I can. Freedom of speech is not there to protect the nice and, and lovey-dovey speech. It's there to protect speech that others might find offensive. Now what many people nowadays find offensive is speech is opinions. Speech that contains opinions is what I meant to say. That different from theirs. If they don't agree with it, it's offensive. It's offensive. So when you create a department, you're also creating the rules, the boundaries. They will determine what is fake news, fake information. I keep saying free speech. I'm sorry. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. I, I keep saying it. I'm a little tired. They will create the boundaries of what is what they consider fake news. Now, what do you think the people who are digging your graves, what do you think their boundaries are going to be? I can tell you right now, anything that goes against them, critiquing their job performance, goes against their uh, socialist agenda, anything that gets in their way, anything that threatens the power of their position, anything that threatens the longevity of their job is going to be deemed hate speech, fake news. Because they're going to wrap up the hate speech all in this fake news thing. Mark, mark my words. You know, they start a they start a, an office and and pretty soon their their role of duties 
their role grows, it creeps, the creep effect. Imagine this, they create the boundaries and imagine shortly after you're running for president, you're running for mayor, and you go up on the podium to critique why they should vote you in. And in order to do that, you need to point out flaws. And all of a sudden the moderator, CNN, late, late and breaking news, CNN, fair and balanced CNN, stops the, stops the, uh, the debate. I'm sorry, sir, you cannot say that. Deemed by the office of fake news, you're saying something that is illegal. Do not say that. Can you imagine critiquing, critiquing everybody around you, saying this person failed at this job, this person didn't do what he promised on his last job. Sorry, sir, that's fake news, and it's bullying, because you can rest assured, if somebody's offended, they can claim bullying on you. It'll all be wrapped up in the fake news office. Fake news, hate news, bullying, mark my words. Can you all imagine that? Imagine <coughs> you critique your, uh, you critique uh, somebody in office. And you do it on a, a Facebook post or whatever. Let's say it, it was borderline. So they didn't go after you. And the next time you said something, and it was borderline. And the next time you said something, and it was borderline. And then they come after you. Well, it was cumulative. Is that how you pronounce it? Cumulative. Where they combine things. And cumulative. I have to go home and, and look up the pronunciation. You get what I'm trying to say. So they can go after you. And I know what, how these, these minds work. I know how these minds work. I'm ex-military. I know exactly what people who are power hungry and how they think. They will, they will grasp at every little bit of power they can. And they will dissect your history and put it all in a basket and say, listen, this is you. We won't stand for it. Imagine that. Just just imagine that. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, I, I'm asking you to subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon. You know the routine. Help me get to 20,000 subscribers. Take care. I'm going home to eat something. I'm starving like Marvin.